It seems the days are gone of scrolling Zillow, making a list of all the houses you'd like to go look at on the weekend, hoping one would be the one. The one you'd make an offer on, settle down, and have a family. The housing market has lost its mind these days. Options are slim and prices are through the roof. Sadly, buying a house is out of the question for many right now. We are the Dixons. In 2019, we renovated our first RV to live in while fixing up houses. Although we loved our job of remodeling flip houses and working on clients' homes, we were ready to slow down and start a little farm. We decided to make a full-time gig of remodeling campers into tiny homes for other families since we loved our tiny living experience so much. RVs aren't just for camping anymore. Living in an RV full-time is possible. Hey, we do it with five kids and even had two home births in an RV, so there you go. We now live in a fifth wheeler on a little chunk of land in South Carolina while we save to remodel the little dump of a house that was in our price range. Join us as we make home however you like. I'm ready to go pick up our new project. I'm super excited to see what you got since you bought it without me. Yeah, I hope you like it. <laughs> I'm sure I will. I'm excited this time around that you're getting a little travel trailer. When you wanted to get a little travel trailer last time, I was nervous because who would want to buy something so tiny? And then when I walked into the trailer, I was still nervous because it felt really tiny. But then once we designed it, it turned out so cute and we had tons of people asking about it. And we sold it pretty quick. So now I'm really excited. Good. I'm relieved to hear you say that because with everything we got going on, clearing trees, cleaning up the land, trying to make pasture for the cows. I am really wanting to do a smaller project. So even though we were excited to get going on the, what was that, a 34 footer? 35. 35 I think. footer. That's just a little bit of a big project. So this one that I'm getting today will hopefully be quicker. That yeah. way we can uh, start working on some of the other stuff on our property. Ready to see the travel trailer? Yeah, I'm super excited to see what you bought. Go. Okay, I like it. It's cute. So, this is our first travel trailer together where someone has already started the project. And he did a really good job. He's a, an electrician by trade. But he put brand new subflooring down. And he ran all the flooring out, so he actually took everything out before he put the flooring down. So, sad thing is we gotta remove all that anyways, because you're gonna redo it all. Okay, so our plan with this one is to take down this hump and make all this countertop. Um, this is a lot of nice storage, but we are gonna turn this whole entire bunk room into a closet, which we're thinking about putting a cabinet door here and then a cabinet door in your bathroom so that you can access all of your storage. And then we're gonna get a nice two burner stove here. It's a little bit more modern than this camp stove with an air fryer convection oven down here. And a really cool retro fridge here. Oh, microwave and, open back up. Yeah. What do you wanna do with that bed? I had my heart set on a queen, but unfortunately the door is in the way, so it's gonna have to stay a double. So, how much are you going to spend on this trailer? Well, how much am I allowed to spend? Uh, 5000 Maybe we should meet in the middle and only spend 6000 That doesn't sound like the middle. <laughs> we got a good deal on this trailer, so I think 6000 is fair. Yes, we got a great deal. So, it's allowing us to get a few extras, like a tankless water heater and a Samsung frame TV. Because in this one, we're not going to do a televator like we like to do and hide the TVs. So we're spending a little extra money to get a frame TV. So in this very small space, everything looks beautiful. I just had picked on my brother about how dumb frame TVs are. Because I personally don't think I'd ever want to spend that much on a TV. But it's going to look great over there by yeah. the bookshelf. And it's always a little fun to buy something special for our buyer that we wouldn't even buy ourselves. But they're going to love it. All right. It's time to start demo. And while you're doing that, I'm going to go inside and start shopping. I don't know what's more dangerous, uh, doing demo or shopping. 
pulls up with a new trailer we could do anything we want when it comes to the design having that type of creative freedom is so much fun but at the same time it makes it challenging to find which direction we want to go in we did a trailer almost two years ago now that had an orange kitchen when I told Eli about the idea he told me I was crazy but let's go for it it ended up being all-time favorite trailer so this time I want to go with something that has the same feel as that one. Um, even though some people would argue that most of our projects are on the crazy side, I don't think anything has been quite as crazy as an orange kitchen. So let's see what we can do. I've got my eye on a really rich maroon color from Toaster Paint that I'm hoping to incorporate and some wallpaper I saw that has a really dark background and I think that makes the space feel larger and since this is only 120 square feet we're going to get something with a dark background again so that's how I'm narrowing down my wallpaper choices and then we're gonna add lots of storage all new appliances and here it just goes from here I just bumble around putting things together until something just feels right. All right, I need to not say all right. <laughs> Turn that off. The trailer's all emptied out. It's time to start putting stuff back together. trying to get our one by faces to match our white wood plywood doors. You using a fork? Yeah, and uh, we found a um, t-shirt, one of the kids t-shirts that had a hole. It got chopped up and was sacrificed in the secret lab. Oh, how useful.
I don't think you can get much closer than that. It's not ideal, but it'll work. I breathed a sigh of relief when I got these cabinet faces put together and they didn't look like zebra cabinets. Thank goodness. Getting ready to prime and priming is probably my least favorite part of the renovation. I have a lot of least favorites, but I'm thinking this is number one. This is when the goats decided to get in the car when I had the back hatch open. Eli didn't realize they had gotten in the car and then he shut the door. And for 45 minutes, they were in the car with my beloved antique mirror that was for the bathroom. We're finally over the hump and things are looking up. We're ready for paint, wallpaper. Our faces are all built. Everything is stained. The horrible part is mostly over. Almost. We're almost there. When the wallpaper goes up is when I can finally see the light at the end of this very long tunnel. It makes such a difference. Painting seems to go on and on and on and on and on. These light fixtures came all the way from Turkey. They're antiques from the 1950s. We love to find old lights on eBay to incorporate in our designs to add some character. This used to be an old round oak table that we cut down and removed all the spinach from and made into this cool checkerboard tape. We had to make a flea market run to get a table to steal a leg off of after my original table leg idea hadn't worked out. We had to make a few antique store runs to get some goodies for the camper and of course stop by to get ice cream to pat ourselves on the back for not breaking anything. Are we to go get some new tires? I've never been with you. This is your first time? Yeah. Cool. I always order them. Hi Bobby! Hi Bobby, Bobby! And then, since it's Valentine's, Hi, Bobby, we're gonna get some Bobby. Donuts with the kids, and you like your little pretzel sticks? You like the pretzel sticks. Yeah, I yeah. like them. But I think you like them more. All because you eat yours. That's something. No, I did not eat any of your pretzel last time. Uh huh. No, you definitely did. I yeah, did. Definitely I did, did not. Yep. Yeah. No, if yeah, anything, you ate the yours. kids' donuts. No, I think I ate some. I think I ate some. And you're eating all of the extra donuts. You think you cleaned out two donuts and a pretzel? Well, anyways, are you excited to get this trailer listed? Yes. Yeah. Super excited. Are you um, nervous? A little. No. 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 I'm no. always a little bit nervous. <laughs> I'm hoping there's a lot of trailers that are for sale right now, and I am just hoping that ours sticks out which I feel like with your design, it usually does. I don't see a whole lot of people doing crazy colors. I love the comment that I get that in the design world, you don't put two contrasting prints together. And uh, this one, I took that to heart and put as many contrasting prints together as possible. <laughs> so you went the opposite route? Yeah, because the naysayers, um, they're onto something. Show me your Stanley mug. Is that your Stanley Cup? Ooh, it's nice. What'd you pay for that? Ian's getting a little bit of the final touches done before we get ready to list the little Sky Cat travel trailer for sale.
I have been waiting for for as long as we've been working on this project. It's when I finally get to see what I've had in my head come to life around me and to be able to figure out if what I wanted was actually good or not. I can think that it's going to look good, but there's always this little doubt in the back of my mind that maybe it's not going to be quite right. Maybe this is the time I'll have to repaint something or pick out a different color or take something back and try again. I think that a lot of people ask me, how do you do it? Or I wish I could do it, I never could. And I think we take ourselves too seriously sometimes when we're at the paint department and there's thousands of little paint chips and we don't know which one we should grab. Um, I think we should, I tell myself this too, that it's just paint or it's just a little knickknack or it's just a light fixture. You can always return it or donate it or if you're brave enough to forge through the Facebook marketplace buyers, list it there and try again that you can always redo it, you can always repaint it. Uh, don't take the joy out of decorating your home because it should be fun and not stressful and it shouldn't get us down. Just tinker with things until you get it right. Try again with your open shelves, with your throw pillows. If you've got some dead space, don't forget to throw in some plants. They bring so much life to a space and they make your air clear too. So it's a win-win. I can't wait to get all the little things that we've been collecting all out and decorated so that I can take the pictures, I can show Eli, and then at the end of it I can step back and take a sigh of relief that it turned out all right and I don't have to redo anything. Time for the final reveal.